In my artist statement, I say that most of my work is influenced by jazz, and I, I stand by that. Jazz music um, is a big thing in my life. I've always listened to it, and it has been an influence on my painting. I really don't think I have a philosophy of art or painting. I just like to paint. I just like to take colors and create new things from them. I enjoy the experience of painting. I enjoy the experience of uh, squeezing paint out the tube or scooping it out of the jar, putting it on the palette knife and spreading it around and moving it around. I enjoy the experience of creating forms and bringing it all together. It gives me a feeling of great satisfaction. But I don't think I have any great philosophy of painting or art. Um, I don't think I'm any kind of artistic genius or prodigy. I just like to paint. I have a lot of memories about uh, my Uncle Clifford Smith. He lived in Junction City and he was actually my dad's first cousin, which made him my second cousin. But he was so much older than the rest of us, we called him Uncle. And he was a jazz musician. He played keyboards and he had, uh, to the best of my understanding, it played uh, with a lot of bands and groups in the area and then had some kind of nervous breakdown that pretty much ended his performing career. But I remember that he had this room in his house full of keyboards and he could play every single one of them. He would come down to visit us in Kansas City. Um, my dad worked, you know, two and three jobs, so Uncle Clifford would sometimes come down, spend a little time with us, take us to the mall. And I remember going to the music stores like Wurlitzer and other places, and he would come in and sit down and play the keyboards. And by the time he got done, there'd be a crowd of people uh, clapping and uh, applauding, gathered around. He was a great keyboardist. I have been painting, <clears throat> drawing, and sketching as long as I can remember. I have uh, some faint memories of drawing and painting when I was in kindergarten. I grew up in a family that had a strong male presence. I mean, the men in our, our family were not uh, necessarily perfect men and um, they all had their moments, we can say, but they were men that took care of their families, and I remember having uh, attending family functions as a small child, and all the men would be there dressed nicely, uh, playing cards, playing dominoes. Um, on Thanksgiving and Christmas, we would go to my aunt's house, and the men would be there watching uh, the football game, or basketball game and arguing and all the women would be in the kitchen either cooking or gossiping and all the kids would be either outside or upstairs playing or in the back room playing and um, I have a lot of memories like that
My name is Jason Piggy and I am a photographer, writer, director, and filmmaker. I am a native of Kansas City, Missouri, and I originally started taking photos when I was in high school. I took a basic photography class, and after that point, it was just one of those things that I did, and it became my internal expression of um, how I saw things around me. I shoot in digital and film formats. I develop my own film and um, I do like a hybrid processing process, but I uh, scan it and then basically work with it if, if the photo needs to be worked with. But I'm more of a purist in the sense I would I want to I want the image to give me what it has. I don't want to add or subtract anything to it. I think from the standpoint of our society, you know, and community, everyone should take a moment to dive into art because it, it allows you to see things from diff a different angle. And by looking at a subject from a different angle, what happens is it allows you to have a new perspective on that subject. And I, we get into these rigid square type situations where it's either this particular person's viewpoint and it they those situations don't allow you to come to your own conclusion and also see it in your own own way and so i think from the standpoint of photography and art as a whole i think if a lot of people practiced art then they could appreciate each individual person that's you know, in the community and also in the world. I am thankful that I have the opportunity to be a part of this exhibit. Uh, Ramona, Stefan, and Harold are great people and I, I'm just happy to be a part of this. And thank you for your time. Thanks for, for viewing my work and, and I wish you well. My name is Stephen Jones and I'm an artist here in the Kansas City metro area. I've lived here all my life and now I teach here as a middle school art teacher. But when I went to college, I studied and got my uh, degree in art education from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I have my Master of Fine Arts from Boston University. You know, I never really imagined myself without art. Like as far as I can remember, I've never been without it and was like introduced to it. I remember drawing, um, just always drawing. I remember making weird things when I was in elementary school. Uh, I grew up as an only child. I have siblings now, but um, I grew up as an only child, so that was my way of entertaining myself. I never really needed to have anyone else around. It was just my escape, my world, and it just came naturally. It was always there. And the arts in general are marginalized in America, but I think about other countries, successful countries, um, a lot of the kids are taught about art, music, theater, all those types of things since they're very young and they're taught as core subjects. They're not taught and thought of as an elective. They're taught as something core together. That's why you have the, the saying arts and sciences they, are, they go together, they go hand in hand, they never should have been separated. Visual art shouldn't be marginalized, all right? So from a choice side of it, because naturally I want to make art no matter what, because that's who I am, but from the choice side, I like being an artist to just stand there and show all these bureaucrats and people who might not know that art is important, that yes, this is important, it's viable, and you can make a living in it, you can be successful, you can communicate with it, it can bring communities together, it's, just, it's good all around. But the thing that I love about art is that you could have the same question, the same prompt, and you could get a million different answers, limitless answers to that same query, to that same prompt. And working with middle schoolers, um, I like introducing them to a subject where one person could have something and it can be right, another person can have something and it can also be right. It shows them that there are different avenues and you can still be right. You can still be in the ballpark as opposed to other subjects where there's only one answer. And if you don't have that answer, you, you missed it completely. So it teaches 
not just kids, but it teaches society to think outside of the box. It also gives youth a way to express themselves instead of negatively expressing themselves through fighting, running around making fight videos to post on social media, uh, va vandalism, uh, bad things, all right? You can express yourself through visual art. You can get it all out. So I think it's def definitely necessary for our society. Uh, it's just art is truth. Art is truthful.